Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Satoko Kishimoto from Transnational Institute. Um, I really thank uh, MSP colleagues to give me this chance to share with you uh, on the, uh, the experience, five years' experiences of uh, engaging the global platform called Chibata. It's a fairly long name that, that we read, Global Water Operators Partnerships Alliance. So the question here is if Jibapa is a vehicle for promoting alternatives to water privatization. About the network, uh, I, uh, I, as TNI's um, uh, capacity and facilitating, is called the Reclaiming Public Water Network, uh, which uh, which connects uh, activists, trade unions, academics, and progressive public water operators uh, for common goal, uh, seeking for democratic public water. So this uh, is a book we uh, published nearly ten years ago. Compiling experiences, on the ground experiences on alternatives. Uh, the, I have some copies if you want, I would like to give you. And this photo uh, is the, the latest our undertaking uh, of, of a strategy meeting in Barcelona last uh, November. So, this uh, <coughs> one of the agenda is precisely how to upscale political support for public public partnerships. So here, uh, the, the, there's a big challenge because one chart uh, doesn't appear, so that I take advantage to kind of a max, uh, to <coughs> maximize our imagination, what it says. Well, this is about a bit of a brief history of how uh, Jiwapa was created. So as Emmanuel said, the public-public partnerships, such a kind of non-profit uh, partnerships existed before Jiwapa was created in different names typically like uh, twins uh, or other names. So uh, the time of the 2004 to 2007, uh, 9, the, the, uh, the UN uh, Secretary General uh, Advisory Board on Water and Sanitation, that's called the ANSCAP, sorry, that's it right here. ANSCAP uh, uh, managed to uh, to uh, manage to uh, put up advice, uh, advice uh, recommendation to catch up uh, the uh, Millennium Development Goals by having such a uh, mechanism to uh, public uh, uh, operators to help each other. So the, this already, the, um, the, I, I wanted to say at the beginning, the, the David uh, McDonald at the beginning, so he wanted to, uh, he said uh, we want to beyond criticism, so we want to create, uh, uh, push our proposals. As long as soon as you enter the kind of a, you know proposing uh, something alternatives, you face immediately the challenges, of course, in the in the kind of mainstream policy arena. So uh, the sometimes the compromise need to be made to be able to go. So question is how much compromise you can accept, and how much um, the. Uh, based on the compromise, how to how you can build the how to make uh, uh, the, the compromise better situation. So this is the kind of uh, the challenge of five years of uh, the engagement in such a uh, global platform. So which is the first uh, in institutionalized frame uh, the platform <coughs> under the main system to promote <coughs> partnerships. So with this reason, uh, we felt uh, uh, the network uh, uh, has been seeking for alternatives to other privatization. We, uh, we strongly felt this is something we have to engage, to steer to the uh, right direction. Uh, then this is a kind of new, new opportunity to tap the, the huge resources of the public sector. Uh, to help each other, rather than uh, emphasizing or exclusively seeking for uh, uh, private partnerships, pri uh, privatization and private partnerships that has been dominate uh, two decades uh, policy uh, uh, policies. Ah, and this photo <coughs> is the, the International Steering Committee. So that's, uh, let me say one word, uh, the Jibapa uh, from the beginning wanted to be a global platform means uh, including different actors, 
So therefore, uh, they uh, published the call of interest to be part of the steering committee members. So uh, uh, our network, as well uh, together with uh, our allies, actively uh, applied for this position to be part of the international steering committee members. So another imagination I have to uh, ask you here. Let me just then uh, ask you, uh, this is actually about the governance of the Jiwapa. The one side is guiding principles of uh, partnerships and called code of code, code conduct. May I ask you what can, can be here, what is principles of uh, partnerships? I mean here, public uh, water operator partnerships. What is principle? What do you think? Any um, contribution? Integrity. Integrity, thank you. And more? Respect. Respect. Nearly. <laughs> it's uh, respect and cultural uh, solidarity and understanding. That's there. Anything else? Understanding, yes, yeah. Uh, mutual understanding is there. Trust. Transfer of knowledge? Transparency. Transparency, thank you. That, that's very, very important, the one with the concept, yes. Maybe one more? Uncompetitive. <laughs> not competitive. Absolutely, yes. Uncompetitive is, uh, is, uh, is not exactly the word, but actually the, the, thing, uh, the word is the uh, non-profit. Uh, Wait a moment, uh, the net for profit based partnerships. So, another important concept is inclusiveness. So, that's about participation. Uh, then, other things is yeah, cost sharing and non net for profit. Okay, so then here you see that uh, there's something here it's um, quarantine to integrity. So, the one of the political compromises we had to make is the actually quarantine. That's what we wanted to have. Means the WAPS Water Operator Partnerships. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you one, one more big compromise. <laughs> actually, public, public partnerships as a term was rejected. The, by argue, argue, being argued the, that it excludes other actors. So Jiva, uh, the, the platform need to be inclusive, we need to include other actors. So that's why what the operator partnerships that as a term was adopted. But the real intention, this is for uh, two for public operators. That's really uh, uh, I want to emphasize. So therefore, there, there are a lot of uh, the forces to make WAPS what the operator partnerships as <coughs> kind of convenient as possible for um, private operators as well as commercial driven uh, public operators. For instance, uh, the WAPS, the, the partnership, uh, um, the end of the partnership, very cheap, you know, two years. After that, you can use the information of the partner to enter the commercial contract or consultancy contract to kind of using, you know, relationship of the, the partnership. So this the we from the beginning we see, think the what's the, the, the importance is avoid to uh, prevent being uh, the abuse being used by the uh, profit motive or commercially seeking uh, objectives. That's why uh, the our advocacy was to make quarantine to uh, uh, prohibit the, the partners from um, the after WAPS for five years not to enter any commercial activities. However, that was rejected. It was too kind of strong and too kind of a many argument. So then uh, as a compromise, the integrity uh, was uh, proposed. So integrity is of course, you know, what you say, what you do need to be integrated. Political coherence should be there. Okay, this shows a bit the, the kind of, it, you don't have to read everything. <laughs> this is just, the, I wanted to show the composition of the steering committees. So the first blue parts, uh, the dark and the, uh, the light, is uh, public operators. This is by, by the current uh, uh, steering committee members. You can see round water, for instance, from South Africa. Uh, you can also see the Brazilian water company, which is Sebasta. 
uh, is quite known as uh, commercially driven, uh, very aggressive uh, uh, policies in the abroad. Uh, but they are also in the member. Uh, however, we also have very you know, uh, like-minded public operators, which has strong public ASOS and really committed to to uh, implement public-private partnerships. So then, the green part is the uh, private operator representations. So that's uh, represented by our corporate. Uh, two sheets, and the trade union has two sheets. Civil society has two sheets. Uh, then after that is alliance partner, which is a bit tricky. So that's typically a knowledge institution or a financial uh, international or regional uh, financial institutions, the, which often you know they provide the finance. Therefore, has got some power. So even more, uh, the, the donors the, they are more precise, uh, um, uh, precisely providing the, the implementation of the project of WAPS. So now, uh, re uh, currently, we have uh, uh, French uh, aid agency uh, and as well as um, the uh, OPEC OPEC Fund for International Development from OPEC, uh, OPEC countries, uh, Arab countries and the uh, Spanish uh, international uh, aid agencies. The, the, last, uh, the, the last one is the UN Habitat. Uh, by the way, the Jivapa is hosted by UN Habitat. Okay, so I would like to tell a bit about our strategies. So this uh, shows, uh, uh, this uh, chart shows the, our strategies is to um, not only uh, working with the civil society and trade unions, but also working with uh, progressive uh, uh, public uh, companies and associations. At the beginning of 2009, we, uh, the Argentinian uh, uh, operators, as well as Asemaya from that Brazilian uh, municipality, uh, Water and Sanitation uh, Services Association, um, uh, together with trade and civil society, uh, we uh, engaged. And through the work, uh, five years' work of Jivaka, we also got close to the people, the, the public operators, who are really having set similar thinking of us. So we started working with them. So present uh, standing committee is, you can see, uh, after Public Europea. This is a European Federation of Public Utilities, which has a very strong ASOS of uh, publicness as well as human rights to water. So uh, then at uh, the OSE, uh, he mentioned OSE Uruguay uh, State Water Company, a member as well, uh, together with uh, other uh, progressive minded operators, as, as uh, trade unions, uh, and, and uh, a, a platform for um, public community partnerships uh, in Latin America, uh, PAPC, uh, where uh, Marcelo Oliveira uh, was is supposed to speak about uh, the, the, uh, they are promoting public, uh, sorry, uh, community community partnerships. They are also part of our team. Um, actually, this uh, the most last Ivan. Yeah. Uh, can you go next? Next the third. Yeah. Um, I would like to conclude uh, the, our key lessons as well as uh, uh, the achievement. Evaluation. So Jibaba is a small pro public ship in the rock pro private ocean, but has a, a, has a potential to, uh, to, to work. So this is a word actually uh, by, the, uh, by uh, David he participated uh, the, the, in, the, in the second congress uh, the, uh, in Barcelona. So not, uh, not only MSP friends, but also our uh, allies and colleagues, uh, 35 people participated in the, this congress to make our voice heard. And the other evaluation is the, <coughs> the critical policy engagement is possible. So I, I, again, I said the kind of, um, compromise is sometimes not avoided to be able to go. So, but uh, uh, the critical uh, uh, still you can uh, you know you can make critical voices. Uh, that's uh, for us very important because 
many other international water policy arenas, uh, critical voices from water justice movement is really difficult to be heard because other big, you know, uh, NGOs or uncritical um, actors as a civil society are dominating in the policy spaces. So in that sense, Jibapa is uh, this uh, unique place to, to, to reflect the critical voices. Positive change. So, uh, uh, Jibapa, after uh, years of work, Jibapa started to recognize the value of working with the civil society and trade unions. This, um, um, this is uh, like uh, the one of the hours um, advocacy is indeed uh, on participate, uh, the citizen and workers' participation in the governance of WAPs as well as implementation of WAPs. <coughs> that, that, uh, uh, at the beginning, this kind of you know, voices are so isolated, but we uh, um, um, uh, start keep working to convince the stakeholders how the, this uh, citizen participation, citizenship can contribute to to make uh, the works more sustainable and more publicly accepted so that, uh, that we, uh, we did. And another uh, positive change was that the regional uh, works, there, there, there are many regional uh, the platforms. So the work uh, platform in Latin America, for instance, is the one of the most kind of hostile uh, regional platform with, because which was hosted by the Inter-American Inter Development Bank. So, but the years of work, uh, they, they realize, they start to realize the, the importance of participation. So then actually we call it the democratization of that regional platform. Uh, now uh, the, our friend, uh, the colleagues in Latin America, uh, trade union, operate more uh, progressive uh, operators are invited in the regional platform. Lessons. So uh, the, from the at the beginning, we really play as a watchdog uh, to, 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 uh, to monitor the, the development of Jibapa. But uh, it's, a, it's quite a different, you know, the dif um, uh, defeat, uh, for instance, for a time. So we started to realize that not, not only being critical, is you have a risk to be isolated. So instead, we, uh, we started to, to develop our proposals uh, for instance, integrity. Uh, it's not only saying, you know, uh, complaining, but more like to develop that mechanism integrity, how to ensure the, uh, the integrity, uh, the, the having, the, having the, the proper mechanism. So that's what I, I the lesson we learned from watchdog to contributor, to be seen as we are contributing to the global process. So conclusion. Uh, Conclusion is uh, the, the clearly further more work, further work on integrity, uh, the establishing and integrity of Jibapa is needed. This is not not yet completed, so we have to keep working on that. The second thing is the uh, sorry, this doesn't show anyway. Um, expanding uh, uh, expanding uh, the political support to public public partnerships be out of the box of Jivapa. So that's very critically important. The Jivapa is just one of the global platform, but more kind of broad sense of the public public partnerships, including community partnerships, should be supported politically and also financially uh, by different actors, for instance European Union and the other European countries, aid agencies uh, that should recognize the, 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 the achievement and also cost efficiency of such a partnership to achieve their better services. Uh, that's the, therefore, uh, our, our advocacy should continue to expand political support to, uh, to make public-public partnership to upscale.